everyone. This is Tim, the New York Giants Straight Talk, powered by Online Big Blue LLC. Oh, I'm on the mic. It's a Monday morning. Just got back from the game. Spent the night over in East Rutherford after the 40 nothing debacle. And, and there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to digest about this team and this game. And I, I think a lot of people have, I don't know if they've jumped off the bandwagon more than they've fallen off the bandwagon, but it, it, was, it was one of those games. I, I always think of the replacements in Johnny Utah when he gives a speech uh, about playing in quicksand, about how when one thing goes bad, then another, then another, then another. Um, and the next thing, you know, you're, you're drowning in quicksand. And that's what, that's what the, this game was from the opening drive, which looked promising from the giants to the blocked field goal, uh, to, 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 to the turnovers, to the defense. Just if you take, if you take a look at it statistically, the, the, the Cowboys really did not dominate the, if you, if you looked at their total offense, statistically, the giants were not totally dominated by, by the, the Cowboys. But I, I think that's also a very misleading stat because of the fact that the, the, the Cowboys had such good field position, you know, they had, they had a, they had a, a excuse me, a defensive touchdown. They had a special teams touchdown. Um, it, it, it was just like the giants didn't look like they were ready to be there. didn't look like they were ready to play. Dak only went 13 for 24 for 143. Uh, of course he was not sacked again. Pollard only had 70 yards. So like I said, if you looked at it vis-a-vis, you know, statistically, you know, Cowboys only had 18 for at uh, first, excuse me, first downs to the giants, 14. Uh, they were, uh, Cowboys were, only, were six for 13 on third down and the uh, giants were only five for 16. And the giants were actually three for five on fourth down conversions. Look at that. I'm going through the good points, but it was the tone of the game that, that really deflated the stadium. And it, it just seemed like, like it just seemed that no matter what the giants tried to do, they couldn't get out of their own way. Um, some people are going to blame Daniel Jones for this game completely. It's not, it wasn't day. It was all. This was not Daniel Jones's fault. The two interceptions and they were bad interceptions and the two fumbles. Yeah, that, that falls on your quarterback. And I believe it was like 16 for 28 for one Oh four. It's, it's amazing that he had the game of his life in Minnesota, that playoff game. And it now has been shellacked the last two times out going back to that Eagle playoff game. But he, he looked indecisive. He looked like a deer in headlights. Yes. There was tons of pressure. The, the offensive, the, the offensive line was just porous. I mean, I don't know what you're going to do to fix this. I, I had been concerned about the, the guard positions and Evan Neal since, you know, day one. And, and I mean, I, I never felt we addressed the guards. I never felt that we did. And, and it was truly self-evident last night. And Evan Neal had a rough game. Even Andrew Thomas had a little bit of a rough game as well. And the giant, I mean, the Cowboys defense is good. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, they're, they're not, uh, they're not, the, they're not the 85 bears. And if you look at the giants defense, my biggest concern was the rookie corners and they, they, they disappointed. They, they really did. And from where we were sitting, the vantage point that we were seeing, you have pretty, you have a pretty good, clear view of the entire field. And, and there were times that wide receivers were wide open. And, and I mean wide open and Dak didn't, you know, either Dak went short or Dak didn't go to him, but you know, the, uh, cooks was at one point standing there by, it looks like at one point he was standing there by himself. Uh, Cause he got Trey Hawkins. So t- he got, he got uh, Hawkins. So turned around. He got tra- uh, it was, ju- it was just kind of scary to, to see what he, to see how twisted he got him and, and, and the C and the CD lamb uh, wide open 44, uh, 49 yard catch. I, I mean, it could have been a lot worse than it was because, like I said, the secondary just didn't hold up. And you're going to say, "Well, Tim, they, you know, he only passed for, like I said, he he only passed for 143 yards. It could have been a lot worse. It really could have. And every time this seems like the the Giants would do something to maybe stifle the momentum of the Cowboys, then something would happen again, and then something would happen again." It, it, it just, it, 
it just didn't look like the Dable had his guys ready to play. I mean, if you take, I know it was a rainy night too, but also, you know, the giants had five fumbles. Now they only lost one, which was great, but they had five fumbles, you know, and, and John Michael Schmidt had Schmidt's had that bad snap that it just went over Jones's head. I, I mean, on a happy note, I, I want to thank everyone that uh, I actually got to meet yesterday. It was uh, it's always a humbling experience when you get to p- meet people that listen to the show daily. Um, it, it's it's just it's someone sent me someone just sent me something. I was like, it, it's just nice to you know, like I said to finally meet, you know you see the people that leave the comments. It's just nice to meet the people in per you know people in person. So you you know it, it, it's I don't know I, like I said I've I've always I've always done this show. Yeah, you know, just because I, you know, always love talking about the Giants, but I think more and more as I get to meet people in person and, and you see the faces behind the, na- you know, the names, uh, you know, the names on YouTube, it's just like, you know, this, it's great because, like I said, it's all, it's all like, it's like we're all a big family. And, and like I said, I really, I really do appreciate it. But um, where do you go now? Where, I mean, where do you, I mean, I mean, I, I always laugh because people were saying, well, this, this is the, this is a linchpin. This is we, we if we go zero and one, you know the season's lost. This is that was the most important game of the season. Well, you know what? Now is going to be the most important game of the season. We've said it a million times. Week two, week two in Arizona is now the most important game of the season because you are now zero and one in your division. Every team in your division has won. You are in last place. You came off a of shellacking like no other, and. and I, I'm just trying to figure out, though, especially on defense. Where did the defense go? Where did where did the pass rush go? Dak Dak at some point had had all day to throw. I mean, he he could literally just sit in the pocket, and he just he had he had a nice play where he stepped up on Leonard Williams that made, that made Leonard look a little foolish. But he, he, there was, there was no consistency. There was, there was, there was nothing going on last. Again, there was nothing going on last night that worked. The, I mean, Saquon Barkley, you know, at times was your, he was your rushing attack. He had 12 carries for 51 yards. He had that nice 18 yard run. But, but as soon as he, you know, as soon as we had to go, you know, another direction because of the score, you know, when it was 26, nothing, you, you were going to go away. From, you're going to get away from the run. And I was laughing because I was with big L gigante at the game. And, and at one point in time, we were like, they could put up 50, you know, 40, you know, 40 was 40 was that number. We joked about at halftime when it was 26, nothing, when they hit 40, we were like, if they, and I believe there was like 11 minutes left. We were like, they could hit 50. It was just a very, undisciplined game. And, and I'm not going to sit there and tell you, Brian Dable needs to be fired. Brian Dable, you know, he, he shouldn't have been coach of the year. I'm not going to tell you that, but he did not have his troops ready to play. You know, you got the, you got the nine 11 tribute. You got, you got Sunday night football, prime time, Dallas Cowboys week one nationally televised. And the giants put up a, the giants put up a stinker that I haven't seen I, I haven't seen going back to like Ray Hanley and things that you thought could go bad. Like I said, it just went bad. The, the offensive line, the rookie corners. I, I am, I am concerned. I am greatly concerned about the offensive line. I'm also greatly concerned having banks and Hawkins out on edge out, out on an edge by themselves. Because it, it's it once we run into you know like I said we get into Philadelphia, you know Philadelphia I think is gonna, you know I think Philadelphia can can is gonna could potentially have a better offense and a better defense than Dallas. But have we have we reached the crescendo right now for the Giants? Has have we reached that crescendo in in Minnesota and now we're gonna be on a downslope? I I see a lot of people and content creators jumping ship. Like, oh, we're, I told you they're going to win four games. I told you they're going to win seven games. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You're a bunch of bullshitters. I'm sick of people. <laughs> I'm sick of people that, te- that tell me I'm negative, but then you watch, uh, watch and listen to these other people because people send me snippets, and, and they're twice as negative as me, and then all of a sudden, as the Giants were going to be this glorious offense, all of a sudden now, like, well, I told you they were going to suck. 
and they call and people tell me that I'm not a good fan. Well, listen, I'm at that game tried and true every week. I'm, I'm cheering for the guys in blue every week. I was cheering for Daniel Jones yesterday and I was praying for him at some point in times. I thought he was going to get killed. He does need to get rid of the ball. Daniel Jones. One of the issues I have is the fact that it's okay to throw the ball out of bounds. Of course, on that one interceptions, when he was rolling out to the sideline, I thought he was throwing the ball out of bounds and he should have thrown the ball out of bounds, but instead he threw it back into the sideline and it got picked off, but he's got to learn. You can fight. I mean, this is your five. You got to learn. You, you can fight another down. You know, if, if he just don't, if, when you had so much pressure coming at him, you have to get rid of the ball faster. You have to make quicker decisions and you have to understand you can't stand the pocket as long as he did. Yes. The offensive line was poor. So the offensive line was terrible, but he also didn't help his own cause by parking his ass in the middle of the pocket for a while. And this is, this is, this is something we have gone back and we've seen from him for the last four seasons. And that hasn't changed any. Do a three a three step drop, quick pass. You know, don't sit there, don't sit there, scramble around, or try to scramble around the back of the pocket. And he's got to learn. He's got to slide because he's he went head first a couple times with his thirteen carries for forty three yards. He's going to get himself killed. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna have another neck injury. And that was all I could think about against you know when he was doing it against the Cowboys. That he's he could potentially have another neck injury. I'm drinking some coffee. I lost my voice. <laughs> the good news is um, uh, <laughs> I can do John Vizondo again. Lombardi. A certain magic still lingers in the name. Other duels in the ice and the snow. It, it, it was just, it was just, it was just, it was just pathetic. It really was. I knew it was going to be a bad game or should have been a bad game because of the fact that I actually fell during the flag ceremony, running out the running out the flag, I actually fell on the field. I got a, I got a nice uh, I got a nice whammo because the turf monster smash. The turf monster got me. I ended up under the flag uh, during the opening ceremonies, which I was luckily I was right by the end zone, so I was able to crawl out quickly and still jump up and grab the flag. Um, but it was it was one of those moments I was like, okay, you know, what? And, and we were joking about it that uh, a lot of people didn't come back to the, you know, to the flag ceremony, there was probably like a hundred people, uh, initially at the practice. And then there was like 50 that came back to actually do it. And plus it, and it was raining, uh, and the flag was heavy. And look at that, I'm, I'm making my Daniel Jones excuses. <laughs> uh, we, we got, to, we got a caller. It's, 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 it's Tim from Philadelphia. Uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, it was raining. It was dark. I had on sunglasses uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get a good grip on the flag, but you know what? God willing, uh, the next time I go out there, things will be better. Uh, but it was, it was fun. <laughs> I got to take a picture of the whammo. I mean, I got a huge knot on my knee and of course it's my bad knee. Oh, you know, we got to do a live stream. We really do. Cause I, 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 I just need to talk. I, I think we need to talk about that. I think we need a moment. I think we need a moment to all breathe and exhale because I think too many people are taking this the wrong way. Too many people are jumping off the bridge and too many people are looking at this the wrong way as well. In regards to the fact that they still don't see anything wrong with this team. I'm going to tell you right now, the, the run defense wasn't there. They rushed, rushed for uh, 30 carries for 122 at 4.1, three touchdowns. The, the, the linebacking core is still lacking in reference to making sure you're, you're, you're making the plays not so far into the second level. Your, like I said, I, I felt bad for Banks and, and Hawkins because it's only going to get worse because they're just going to pick on you. They're just going to pick on them exponentially. The guard positions were just, you know, were not up to the task. You, you know, you had two bad. Ta- I mean, you, I mean, like I said, Neil and Thomas had both had bad nights, and you know, Schmitz had a bad night. Well, as well, Daniel Jones had a bad night. He reverted. You know, like I said, I could. I could take the poor performance. I could take the 15 for 28. I could take the 104. I, I can take I can take all that. I can take and I can understand he was under pressure and duress, but what I can't take is the four turnovers. And like I said, two of them were two of the fumbles were recovered. He had two interceptions. I can't that I can't accept. That 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 is that is just going the wrong way. How can we fix this and turn it around for next week? Well, you know what? That's evidently gonna be a show. 
And uh, look forward to that live stream. I think maybe I'll do it on Monday or Tuesday. Lord only knows. We'll figure it out. And again, you know what to do. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you want to know why. That'd be awesome.